Hey HTDA and welcome back to Satisfactory and welcome back to Bob. I think we're going to call this little pet of ours Bob. He's walking around, so far he's been very peaceful. I do hope he's not going to stomp all over my factory because given the size of Bob and given the size of my miners, I have no doubt about who's going to win that competition. Speaking of miners, I put down a few more. And I actually found out that if you double click them in your inventory, it's a lot easier to place them down. Uh, yes, place them down. And to deploy them. So that's pretty straightforward. Now once again, if you're just joining in, this is a gameplay of me completely being a noob when it comes to this game. We actually have a flying moon over there as well. It uh, makes me want to visit it, coming from Dyson Sphere. It's new. You are going to be completely welcome to comment about all the things I'm doing wrong, that I should be doing better, that I should take into account, etc, etc. That's useful for me, but also for the potential new players that might be watching this and trying to figure out if coming from games like the Isosphere program, this is going to be of interest for them to play as well. I have to say, so far I'm having a huge amount of fun. Uh, much more than I was actually anticipating, so if you're anything like me, and if you like Dyson Sphere, you probably are, at least to some extent, you might have some fun with this as well. Now, I also have to apologize. I actually don't know if the hints on the left side were on the screen as well. Last time when I was trying to figure out how to how the hell to build a uh, portable miner. And apparently it was right there on the screen. Now, yeah. So, um, we can get a huge amount of iron ore from these things. And to be honest, I'm not entirely sure we need all of that. Because we are going to see if we can upgrade our hub once again. We are going to have to produce a couple of things for that. So let's get on that. Now that should be enough. Uh, let's see if we can upgrade this. Um, double clicking is I think the way to go in this game. Upgrade. Oh look. We have a roof. We have windows. Are these windows? I don't know if it's windows. But we have a roof. If it goes, it's going to ring. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature, biomass burner, scanner feature, copper, new buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Cool. Biomass burner. objective, complete hub upgrade three. Note, connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. Note, buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. Advice, automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. Okay, so we can put in fuel here. Uh, what's this? Wood? Primarily used as fuel. Yes. And this is leaves. Also used as fuel. Um, okay, so we can just put this in. And put some of that in as well. Only one thing at a time, apparently. It's going to burn 80 per minute. Okay, that's... Uh, not going to last for very long. So we can put it on standby or not. It doesn't seem to actually be burning anything while I'm not using the power. So that's quite convenient because in some games, once you turn on the power, it's just going to burn regardless of whether or not you actually need the power. So that, that's, that's kind of cool. Uh, I also like the lighting effects. The sun is either coming up or going down. I'm not entirely sure, but... Mm, it's um, quite fun to see actually all these lighting changes. Um, the the night was actually not too bad either. It's it, it does get dark and you do have a flashlight. Uh, if you press B, you can tell a little bit now on the floor. You can put on the flashlight. But to be honest, I didn't really need it. Uh, at least not here. I imagine that if you're in a dark forest, that's one of the zones we saw earlier, that might be different. Anyway, um, let's scan for some copper. Because we are going to need copper. And we have some copper over there. Okay. Anywhere else? Ooh, that's far away. Well, not that far. But it's far enough away to be inconvenient. Um, okay, so we have a huge amount of iron gathering here. So let's just go and... Let's see. Pick up the miner. I assume we're also picking up the iron ore. Yes, we are. We have a ridiculous amount of iron ore now. And then we are going to see what are we going to do next. Let, let's see. Um, we have production. We have a smelter that we can make. Which is kind of awesome, honestly. 
Um, oh, look, we can bind to hotbar. So let's say we do this on five. Ah, that's awesome. Okay, so we can actually make this whole building process quite efficient. We already have the power line on our hotbar. We have, we don't have these on the, the hotbar, but I don't think we need them. At least not for now. Okay, so in order to build a smelter, we are going to need to have some copper. And we don't have copper, so we are going to need to find some copper. And it wasn't this direction, right? Let me scan again. It's a shame it doesn't stay on the map permanently. I mean, you would think if, if you have the technology to scan. Now, let's also pick up some leaves. Oh. Really? It's on the other side. Oh wow, that is that is really inconvenient. It's it's literally on the other side of the hill. Mm, okay. So these larger parts of copper seem to be something you're supposed to mine like manually. And then we go to our inventory. Ah, you can restore your health with this. Okay, good. Um just in case we need that. So then we are going to put down some of these. Clickity click, click, click. Click. There we go. And let's place down another one. I'm actually wondering how close together can you place these? Really close, apparently. So that is uh, convenient. I actually don't know. It does, does this copper run out? I mean, it doesn't say anything about how much is here. So I'm assuming it's not going to run out too quickly. While we're here, let's just mine something a little bit manually. And then we're just going to go back and pick up whatever we have in our miners. Some more stuff. There we go. And grab all. Grab all. Can we double click this? No, we can't. And make this too easy. Okay, and then we need to find our way back, I suppose. Um... Well, no, I don't, I don't think this is a good direction to go in. Oh, no. Hello? I'm stuck. Guys? Guys, I'm stuck. Well, okay then. <laughs> Welcome back, TDA. Uh, okay. So where is it that we respawn? We actually... Why is there smoke coming out of this? Is it? So it's burning, but it's not burning. Okay, anyway. Um, so, we have to figure out a way to get our copper ore uh, without dying. Um, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure about the positioning there. Uh, random question, do I have any of my inventory now? No, I don't. So that's why you can actually craft the uh, little pokey sticks. Um, because in case you die, you are then supposed to craft a new one and pick it up. Um, or at least in case you can't get back to where you died. I think we... Oh, I, oh okay. So this is like the cliff cliff. Um, okay. So basically of all the directions I could have gone into, this was the worst one. Check. If I jump down here, am I going to take damage? No. Okay. Um can I can I get my stuff without dying? I don't think so. I actually don't know where my stuff is. Oh, it's actually over here. So let's try it again. One eternity later. Okay, guys, so it turns out I have a problem, or, well, yeah, I actually have two problems. So first of all, I am an idiot, because turning around this way, you can actually easily run back to the base. The second problem that I have is that my body is currently over here somewhere, and I don't think we can really reach it. The thing is, it's down on this ledge, 
And it's going to be a pain to actually get there and get our stuff back. Now, the only thing of value that we really have down there, and as you can see, I had a few attempts trying to get my body back. Some of them with and some of them without any uh, items on my body. So, uh, yeah, there's crates down there now. Um, so, yeah, we're not going to get that back. Now, to be honest, it's not really a problem considering we have nothing of value there other than our little zapper that we are going to use or at least that we wanted to use to zap our little uh, unfriendly um, neighbors that every now and then tend to pop in now can I actually do something with this uh, no. let's grab some leaves because we do need some biofuel and we lost all our other leaves uh, other than the ones that we put in the burner already and like I said we can just just walk over here and it's actually not that far so I'm not too worried about the distance of the copper uh, it would have been nice if like I thought initially this was copper and the other one would have been iron, but nothing too much to worry about, I believe, actually. I'm not entirely sure how much we can put in. Uh, flower petals used for crafting. Oh, interesting. Okay, so. What are we going to craft? We are going to craft a smelter. And in order to make a smelter, we are going to need some of that iron wire. And we are going to need quite a bit more of those rods. So let's go make those. So what I was thinking was, let's have one on this side. Um, snap. That's the button I was looking for, snap. And then... I'm actually not sure if we can do it like this. Let's try. Let's have the power going from this one. To that one. And this one. Can I do another power line? Oh really? We can only do one. Well, okay then. Then, then, then we'll just take this down for now. Okay, so we are going to smelt some iron over here. There we go. This is going to make things a lot less annoying. And we are also going to need some copper. Now, what did we need in order to make the next hub upgrade? Did we already check? No, we didn't. We are going to need some iron plates, we are going to need some iron rods, and we are going to need some wire. So we pretty much already have all of that. And from that point on, we are going to get a lot more interesting stuff. So let's go and fix that. Okay, so we have all the stuff that we need, and then that should mean that we can now upgrade to Hub 3. Do we now get windows? Another roof? What? Congratulations, you have unlocked scanner feature, limestone, new buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench respectively. Eighth objective, complete hub upgrade four. Note, use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. Okay, so we have this little place now where we climb, can climb up to. I kind of like the view, so that's good. Uh, power poles can be used to connect multiple builds, buildings to the same power grid. Well, now we can build that second smelter that we wanted. Buildings like the constructor require a recipe to be selected and power to function. Reminder data on the recipes and buildings can always be accessed in the codex. Yes, sure. Okay, second smelter. Can we have our second smelter now, please? There we go. So... Wow, what's this then? This looks pretty cool. We even have a, like our little fridge over here and, and like a sink and stuff like that. Oh, we can go to the bathroom finally. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Weird little details every now and then, but that's fine. Let's see. So what did we get? We got concrete. Sure. How do we make concrete? Uh, we can make screws now. There is this this item over here. Actually, okay, so concrete, concrete. Um, maybe it's in the constructor. What do we need to make a constructor? We need... Reinforced iron plates. How do I make reinforced iron plates? Here we go. Okay, so, oh, actually we can just make concrete over here. I'm an idiot. Okay. So... 
Uh, reinforced iron plate. What do we need for that? We need screws. What do we need for screws? We need iron rods. Okay, so be right back while I'm going to make sure that we replace some of our miners to our limestone. We are going to pick up some limestone. We are going to pick up some ores and stuff like that. And then we're going to meet right back here. So we're done crafting and actually I found out that the um, to-do list that you see here on the right is really a cool feature that I wish that some other games had as well. Um, basically what you do is you add things to your to-do list. In my case, four power poles, four power lines, four constructors and one smelter just because. And then it will automatically add up what you need to build all of that. So you can really plan out like, okay, I want to craft, I don't know, let's say a certain factory with, with five different buildings and six other buildings, etc. Then you know exactly what you're going to need to bring to, in order to build that. So that's that's really cool. Um, also, what's really cool is that we should now be able to power more than one smelter. So let me see, how many smelters do we actually need? We only have, yeah, we only have the two ingots, so we only need two of those for now. Um, we're definitely going to need more at some point. So the power is in the back given how I've been facing them so far. Um, let's see, how do, do, how do I actually, um, can I just demolish the power line? Yes, I can, okay, so. Um, we are going to, do we need to build a power pole? I believe. I, I actually don't know if there's a smart way to build this. Um, to be honest, the smart thing might be to, to flip this thing around. So where does the power go in? It's it's there in the back, right? Yes. So, hmm, hmm. I don't know. Let's let's just let's just keep it simple for now, and let's say we place a power pole. It's clipping. Okay, so you can't really snap it like that. We can't snap it. Actually, no. If I just place it there, can I can I just very ugly connect it to this power over here? Apparently, yes, we can. Oh man, this is going to be spaghetti to the max. But okay, so we can now power this one, and can we? Uh, hello, power, power. Oh, never mind. It's already snapping. I was looking at the other other thingy. Not sure what that is. Um, but yeah, we can actually connect up to three, four different things actually. So we now have three, we have one incoming power and then two outgoing ones. And now we have both of these powered up. So that's really cool. So let's now make sure we have some ingots in here. Oh, I actually already have ingots in there. Uh, iron ore over here. What I really like is that once you select the recipe, so for example here, copper. It will all automatically show you what the relevant items are. And actually it does the same thing if you're in the um, crafting menu. So there we go. Um, it automatically also subtracts the things that you already built. So now I built one power pole and three power lines. And now the power lines are down to one. And so is the power pole down by one as well. So this is just keeping track of what I apparently have already built for my to-do list. Uh, a really neat feature to be honest. Okay, so smelter. Um, smelter, that was five. No, that was the smelter. I already had smelters. What I wanted was the constructor, which I should probably add to my list like this. There we go. And then I should be able to build one. Now we need to have stuff going in. Oh wow, this thing is big. Um, okay. Okay, so the snapping thing, uh, that's interesting. So the snapping thing actually aligns it with the other building. Now, I do think it's actually too big to, yeah. So it, so this one is now aligned, but I can't align the um, smelter or the, the second constructor with that smelter right away. So what I'm initially going to do, and we are probably going to have to scale this up insanely much, but we're just going to take it down for a moment. 
And we are just going to place it right next to this. There we go. Actually, no, let's let's flip that around. This doesn't make any sense. Um, flipping it around. Like that. And let's make sure it snaps. There we go. Because if we do it like this, then we can actually make some conveyor belts. Uh, let's let's actually first check what we can make here. Uh, oh, basically all of it. Um, okay. So iron plates are made from ingots. And iron rods are also made from that. And the screws are made from the rods. And, oh wow, this is going to be quite a thing, isn't it? We are going to have to build so many things here. Uh, we are going to need a whole array of these um, constructors in order to make all of these items automatically. Uh, we are going to need a heap of conveyor belts. But to be honest, before we start automating all of that, we need some way to get the iron into these smelters automatically because until we do that it doesn't really make any sense to focus too much on connecting everything else up if we don't have a way to get the ore to there automatically so until then um so for example right now what we could do is just put some iron rods in there now of course we do need to actually power this thing and uh, luckily we have a power rod to do just that we can clickety click is it going to work? Hero. No power. So we are now mass producing plates. We have plenty that we need. So let's jump to the hub and see if we get a second toilet now or maybe a bed to sleep in. Do we actually have a bed? Um, I don't think so. We oh, we actually do. We have two beds even. I'm not entirely sure why we need two, but we have them. Um, Maybe a plant? I don't know. Let's see if the upgrade gets, gets us anything new. Uh, we need to do that over here. Let's put in the plates. Let's put in the wire. Let's put in the concrete. We got upgraded. You have unlocked building, conveyor belts and poles. Inventory, additional slots. Ninth objective, complete hub upgrade five. Note. Portable miners cannot be connected to conveyor belts. Advice. When planning the construction of buildings, note the placement of conveyor belts. Alright guys, so we now officially unlocked the conveyor belts. Now, to be honest, I'm a little confused because I already thought we had them. Um, I'm not entirely sure if that's intentional or not but anyway um we can now officially start automating the system now it did specifically say we do not uh we won't be able to connect these belts to the automated uh, the little portable um miners that's what i was going to say which also makes sense because that's our are going to be our next target so if we um complete the next milestone we will able to be able to make these upgraded miners uh, have storage containers as well for all the overflow of stuff so that's going to be awesome and we are going to get an even larger inventory that seems like an excellent idea to start really making a factory out of this little settlement that we have going so far in the next episode once again guys i really like it if you let me know what you think uh is this a fun series is it not uh, what would you would like to see what uh, comments do you have on things that i'm doing probably doing everything wrong and being a complete noob cake when it comes to this game but anyway let me know in the comments um i'm also wondering if by now some of you guys might have been lured into this game uh, if you did what was your experience let me know and join me in the next one when we are going to upgrade our automated system. Thanks guys and see you around.